from Russia with Silver, or that's what I would call myself if I was a silver stacking channel from Russia. Um, however, these coins actually came from a coin shop in Norway, um, which is actually kind of neat. Um, I don't think I've ever bought anything from Norway before, but I've known some pretty cool people from Norway. Um, I actually like their stamps. Um, I'm actually going to try to carefully open this. I'm not really a stamp collector, but when I get something in the mail, a lot of times I do try to uh, preserve the stamps just for, uh, you don't need to see my tax information, uh, just for reasons, um, you know, it's just nice. Oh, no, it doesn't actually have my ID on there. Sometimes the uh, back of these, when they go through Japan, they put your ID on there. Um, this one's not a case. Of, oh, looks like I don't even need a knife. I'm going to try to carefully open this because I want to... Yeah, I'm going to use the knife just to, for, to preserve the stamps. These are great, super cheap little knives that are made in Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, you can buy them off Amazon from, like, probably anywhere in the world. I actually think I bought it when I was in the United States and then threw it in my bag and it got taken back to Taiwan. Ooh, I like this. Plenty of staples. All right, I just got the top part open because I'm sure you guys just want to see the coins. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the newer... So, these are both... Three ruples from Russia. So this is a silver bullion coin from Russia. Um, this design, however, is changed. This is the old design. This is 2009. Um, this is the older one. By chance, I opened the older one first. Um, so you can see there is St. George, and he's got a spear, and he's slaying the dragon. Um, he was a common motif in a lot of medieval medallions and literature and art as he's slaying this dragon. All right, so here we have the silver three rubles. Um, like I said earlier, this is actually the older design. Um, the newer design is a little more in depth. See, this one just has the emblem of Russia. The newer ones have the um, coat of arms of Russia. So up at the top, three rubles. Let me hear bank. Of Russia. Uh, we got the purity, so AG silver, 999, so it's three nines purity. It's got the year, it's got the weight, 31.1 grams, and then it has the mint mark, and that is St. Petersburg. Um, yeah, very nice coin. They didn't actually produce a ton of these, so the 2009s between St. Petersburg and Moscow they only produce 280,000. Um, this is not a normal thing I would stack for weight. This is just kind of a cool collectible. Um, there's a lot of countries that have coins that are not super common, and so I want an example. Um, there'll probably be another mail call in the future with another country that people don't normally think of as producing bullion coins. Um, old design, it's readed. There's 300 reads, if I remember correctly. Here you go. We've got him slaying the dragon. So there should be one more in here. All right, this is the other one. Um, this is also the old design. I didn't find an example of the new design for really in my price range. And it's the problem with these coins is they a don't produce a ton. A lot of years there's only half a million made, and most of them are sold right inside Russia. So when I find them online, looking on eBay, it's usually um, countries in Eastern Europe, or in this case, oh, this one is nice, or in this case, uh, a coin shop in Norway, which hold, deals with a lot of stuff that's really hard to find. Um, they actually offered a discount on these, and I ended up jumping on it. It was one of those things I looked at, I favored, and I was like, oh, I'll think about it later, and then they offered it for cheaper. So uh, I took them up on that. Um, so once again, uh, the emblem of Russia, three rubles, Bank of Russia. This time it's 2010. Same weight. 
Oh, and same thing. Um, the mint mark there is St. Petersburg. Um, so there's two mints where they produce it at, St. Petersburg and Moscow. Um, this is the mint mark for St. Petersburg. Moscow um, looks like three M's and then the L. All right, very pretty. So the newer ones actually have a more complex design, but I still like these designs. Um, the 2010 is a little more common between the Moscow and St. Petersburg mint, they produced half a million, and that's a pretty normal mintage. There's a few years that are less, but I don't think any year they produce more than half a million. Um, some keep it collectible, some of it, I don't know how much demand there even is in Russia for it, um, but not a ton of these sell outside of Russia, so it's kind of a fun thing to get. Um, I've wanted one for a while, there's a few other countries that you know produce a small number of coins that I've also wanted to get and uh, there might be future mail calls with them uh, they were actually packaged really well I was surprised about that um, yep great oh. Oh, okay so um, yeah I would definitely if you're looking for stuff that's a little harder to find especially in Europe because the cheap the shipping will be cheaper like central it's a great option. I would definitely recommend them again. All right, so we've reached the end of the video. I hope that you have found these two silver bullion coins from Russia interesting. Um, I know I have. They're something I'm very happy to add to my collection. Um, so if you like this video, you hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about um, these coins or tell me about some bully, some countries that produce bullion, silver coins, that most people don't think about. Um, I'm always looking for new and interesting places to check out. Um, and I hope I've earned your like. I hope I've earned your subscription. If you haven't subscribed, hit the bell icon if you want to get updated when these videos come out. And I'll see you in the next one.